Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday, May 16th, and I am grabbing some coffee and one of those like turkey bacon breakfast sandwiches, and I am going into the morning rehearsal for the afternoon symphony concert. I can't show you my outfit of the day because the, the sun is horrible, but I've got this nice blue blazer jacket and a high collared um, undershirt. Undershirt, just a decorative white shirt, and then dress pants. It's before coffee, it's before nine. I can't describe things, but see you in a little bit. We made it! We are on the Ohio Wesleyan campus. It is so beautiful out here. But um, last week when I was doing my vlogs, we had rehearsal here in the evening, and now it's, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning and I don't have anything that lets me park in these spots so I had to go park in like a residential street and on a residential street so I had a little bit of a walk but we are heading back in we have rehearsal until I want to say noon and the kids come at 12 30 and we do our concert Our other singers, and we're listening to the orchestra. Can we talk about how these kids are skipping school. Morning, guys. <laughs> if I were a high schooler about to sing with these kids, I'd probably be freaking out. We are. They're very, no, you guys are holding your cool. going to go get my headset and if you can look over my shoulder they're so good they're warming up right now and the sole violinist is a sophomore a sophomore in high school no if someone had asked me to do this in high school I would have peed my pants <laughs> Concert could have gone any better than it did. The kids were so into it, the orchestra sounded beautiful, and the parts where the kids played their recorder with the symphony, they did the uh, Beethoven Ode to Joy. Da -da 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 they did that song, they sounded beautiful, and then we incorporated a couple high school violinists that were just phenomenal, and then our singers, I had little high school singers that helped me. We did 
a Stravinsky piece that the symphony was very familiar with. So we let the kids in the audience decide like who was going to get the first and second solo, what uh, family like woodwinds or string or brass were going to get to play like the excerpt at the end and if we would repeat it or not. So the kids were so into it because they got to pick how the symphony was going to play. And I think it just amazed them that they were going to sit in their seats and play the recorder and have the symphony lead them. Like they got to follow the conductor and I emceed the concert and then I sang as their song leader. And they had a big board in the back of the theater and it counted down. It said like countdown to Kristen and it had like 10, nine, eight. And of course they're fourth graders. So I'm going to rile them up. So they can't see, but they heard me on the mic. I said something like, can you guys count down? Here we go. Can you get any louder? Like just trying to rile them up. It totally worked. Their teachers probably didn't like that, but it was awesome. I actually found it interesting that I got a question on this channel that said, how on earth do you schedule all of this? They said, uh, like, I've watched you for a while. You work your day job. You run a business. You do theater. You do outreach concerts with kids. And then you perform in shows. Like, how do you do all this? So I'll get into more detail on this later, but I do have like a paper planner and a Google, Google, a Google planner. And I use my paper planner for everything outside of like YouTube. YouTube I use completely. Oh, and they also said you do YouTube. Now I'm gonna head off to a little meeting and then I will finish this vlog out and I'll kind of show you how I outline my week a little bit more in depth of what we just talked about. So you guys, thank you so much for following me. If you got to see on my Instagram, I had an entire day of stories of the symphony concert. I really hope you guys are following me on Instagram because the stories disappear, but I showed like us warming up. I showed me hanging out backstage with the other singers. I even showed where I made the 800 kids in the audience scream out, the orchestra sings, and I'll clip it here. You can't hear what they're saying, but I'm making them say, like I say one, two, three, and they yell, the orchestra sings, which you can't really hear. So I renamed it the orchestra screams because you don't really know what they're saying. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I am back home after a very eventful day between singing with the symphony, I had my social media marketing meeting, and then I came home and I just taught one piano lesson here at home. And I said I would finish out the day with talking about how I effectively plan out my days to be as productive and efficient as possible. The first thing I like to do is get everything down on paper because I'm one of the people that will not sleep or relax if I don't know that everything is written down so I am not responsible for remembering it. I also, side note, like to pack my lunch for the next day and lay out my outfits. I've mentioned numerous times and will continue to do so when I say I am not a morning person. I like everything to flow as smoothly as possible in the morning. First thing I do put on my planner. I note the time I have to wake up and then I give myself an extra 20 minutes. So I have to wake up at eight, like eight at the latest, I'll wake up at 7.40, just so I can take that 10 to 20 minutes to just sit, be with my thoughts, look at my to-dos, check email, social media, whatever it is, just gently wake up on my own. I cannot recommend this to you more, whether you meditate, drink coffee, go for a walk, read the newspaper or watch the news, whatever you do, give yourself a little bit of you time before you make yourself responsible for your work or your kids or your spouse. I promise you it will make you happier. It's made me a lot happier now that I wake up and have a little bit of time to myself. And drinks. This is iced tea. It's really hot today. The next thing I do is what I mentioned before, I put all important events into time blocks. For example, today, I knew I had to be at the symphony rehearsal at 9 a.m. and I knew it was gonna take a half hour to get there, so I knew I had to leave at the latest 8.25 and I knew I needed a half hour to get ready, so 7.55, but I still wanted my 20 minutes to myself, so I set the alarm just for 7.30. So I think like backwards, like I just said, to figure out when I have to wake up and then I block important events so I know they have to be done. So I knew 9 a.m., orchestra rehearsal, 11 a.m., break, 12.30, concert, 4 p.m. meeting. That way I know what's going on and I know the exact time. And like I said before, I have that little extra, if I have time, uh, side posted in my agenda. So I know if I have an extra half an hour, 
like let's say I thought it was a half hour to get to the orchestra but it was really 20 minutes I have a little like tab on the side that would show me what I could do in that allotted extra 10 minutes of time and then finally once I have all important tasks regular day activities in my routine and then anything extra that I could be doing with time I personally and I recommend to you block out some time that is just for you I know this becomes difficult when you do have outside responsibilities and by outside I mean outside your job again with kids spouse other important like family or friends events those things do take up your time but I promise you and I urge you to make a little bit of time at the end of the day just for you even if it's take a quick shower wash your face like whatever you need to do personally for me I like to schedule like a half hour at the gym I tell myself it's a half hour so I'll actually go and I try to stay an hour downtime just lay on this couch and read or browse social media or check my gmail or outlook whatever i want to do to just kind of like take a deep breath and note it's the end of the day and the last thing i do and i do put this in my schedule because it is very important especially if i want to be efficient and productive the next day i make sure there are no stressful events happening before bed I don't start any long projects that get the creative juices flowing in my brain because I won't sleep. I take out anything that could be stressful and I do not let it get into my agenda or my mind before bed. And I also have implemented the rule of no electronics in my bedroom 30 minutes before sleep because the screens are a little bit addictive when you're like trying to relax in the day. Sometimes I will put the TV on, but it's got the sleep timer, so it will not stay on all night keeping me awake, and I know that it's just going to be like background noise so I can peacefully fall asleep. But anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. I loved sharing this day with you. I personally think that making video is like the 2.0 of making memories. It used to just be pictures and scrapbooks and now I got to take you guys with me no matter where you are in the world. I got to take you guys with me on my experience of being a soloist with that beautiful symphony and performing in front of 800 kids to show them how cool it is, how the symphony works. We explained all the families like the brass, the woodwinds, the strings and then they got to you know participate in the concert. And I think they really liked it. I hope that we do more of them in the future. You guys, thank you so much for watching with me today. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to click the little red subscription button down below. It'll update you to each and every new video that I post from here on out. And if you like these kind of vlogs, let me know in the comments and then give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.